Merry Christmas you lovely people. I'm joined by Oliver because we're going to have story time guys. There's going to be three stories and three Christmas play-ons guys or three yeah. Christmas games. Now Oliver's wearing his jumper. Stand up. Hey there he is. Yay. And I'm wearing my jumper as well. Oh you can just about make it out there yeah. guys. Yeah. So yes Oliver's here with me. Now, these three stories are from my Christmas past. And Oliver has not heard these before, have you, Oliver? Yeah. So who's going to join us for our first story? Freddy Trevor the yeah. Elf. That's he's what, Freddy Trevor. Freddy Trevor, that's what he's been called, yeah? Yeah. The naughty little Freddy Trevor who gets up to things all the time. Naughty, naughty Freddy. Yeah. But anyway, Oliver, when I was about your age mm. yeah i was absolutely obsessed obsessed with what with batman and spider-man but batman more than anything yeah and i remember so it would have been about 1976 yeah i was six years old something like that maybe a bit older yeah it might have been 1977 it was, in fact, yeah, it was. I do remember now. It was 1977. So I was seven. So I was a bit younger than you. Yeah. And uh, Nanny and Grandad, my mummy and daddy, they went out everywhere trying to find me a Batman outfit, mm -hmm. a Batman <laughs> costume. And they couldn't find one anywhere. Nowhere at all. They were sold out everywhere. So <clears throat> Nanny decided she was going to buy all the material because she was really good at making things like that oh. so she bought all the material and she went all over the place trying to get the right material and um yeah and she hand sewed me it oh. she sat there for ages and ages and ages weeks and weeks probably trying to get it exactly right spot on she got it in the end and she was actually sewing it so much yeah that it made the tips of her fingers bleed in the end because she had little holes on all the ends of her fingers because she didn't have a thimble you know what a thimble is no thimble's a thing you put on the end of your finger so that you can do sewing and you can press the needle in with it and she didn't have one and uh, for some reason she couldn't get hold of one but we were living in a tiny little yorkshire village guys which um yeah there wasn't exactly a lot of shops there at the best of times and it was pretty hard to get all the most things so yeah she just yeah she had bleeding th fingers at the end of it but i'll tell you what she made a fantastic batman costume in the end and uh when i um got up on christmas day and opened that present i was over the moon they got me batman figures as well little batman toys and cars and things like that and then i opened up the costume and it was wonderful. What did you think of that one, Trevor? Freddy Trevor. Was that a good story? Yeah? Yeah. Had nothing to do with video games, that one, but it was a good enough story, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, do you think so? In fact, yeah. uh, only one of these stories is actually going to have anything to do with video games. But what? we'll get to that, because now, guys, we're going to take a look at the first game. Game. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah! Mm. So bye bye, Freddy Trevor. Right, here we go, you lovely people, with the first Christmassy game. Santa Claus is coming to town. The boys are going to play this one mm -hmm. because it's a very childish game, but a very fun one. So, handing it over to the boys. Yeah. Josh yeah. and Ollie. The boys. They're going to show you. Of course, all the intro screens, and they're going to show you what's actually on this. It seems to be a fairly fun thing. Oliver's playing first, by the way. Oliver's mm. playing first, right? Okay. Saved game. Josh might have to keep you straight, Ollie. Um, uh, how, okay, you select main menu. Oh, which one should I do? Oh, 
So this seems to be a lot of mini games, activities and things like that. This is on the Nintendo Wii of course. So it looks a bit more, not that much graphics to a PS5. <laughs> what? Yeah, Why is, is that? PS5. That, well, that, hello that bird is very weird. SD for short. That proves oh, that to I've got me. Lots of letters for Santa and Rudolph is basically a giraffe. The same. Some ask for toys, <clears throat> but a lot ask questions. I can answer all of your questions because I know everything about Santa. The best place out, to start man. is at the very beginning. When Santa was just a baby. Ooh, that was my um. When favorite. Santa was a baby? When I Jesus thought you'd always been an old man. Mm. Me too. Herr Bergermeister, look what was discovered on your front stoop. A baby. Stoop? Oh, is that all? Step. <laughs> a baby? And there's a note. Please, sir. Take care of my child and protect him from the dangers of the mountain of the whispering wind. I, Burgermeister Meisterberger, take care of a baby. Outrageous. What's its name? This is the only clue, sir. It says claws. Take the little baggage to the orphanage. That's the proper place for foundlings anyway. <coughs> Well, he's a nice guy, isn't he? Mm. Not. He's a burgermeister. He's a burgermeister. That is German for like the mayor. But the guard lost baby like Chris on the way to the orphanage. The animals knew they had to hide that baby and fast. Me. They knew where that baby belonged. Quick as they could, they started on their way. A baby. What a splendid idea. He shall live with us and sleep with us. And drink warm cocoa with us. His tag says Claus, unusual name. We shall call him Chris. Chris Chris. No, Chris Pringle. Why not? Uh, why not Nicholas? <laughs> yeah, no. Why, why not? Uh, uh, I don't know. Santa. As Chris grew older, he learned everything from the Kringles and his animal friends. Pringles. How to run? How to jump? And most importantly, how to have fun. Why? Hmm. You're a penguin. Huh? Huh? He well, learned how to what's a um, penguin doing here? Like eat his own You better travel with me. You need someone to take care of you. I'll call you Topper. <coughs> Topper? Yeah, because he farts a lot. Topper. I'm learning how to run and walk right now. Yeah. Me. So I do. I'm just supposed to go to the right. Right down yeah, here. So keep going. Yeah, keep going. It doesn't even explain what you have to do. Magic snowflakes. Collect as many of those as you can. This bit's a platforming bit. So just keep going like you would in the platforming game. Um, jump on it. Chris, jump. That's make. It. You can jump into the. You can jump into the tree. Look, there you go. Up you go again. Oh, I go down then. <laughs> I nearly died. Because I'm only a baby boy. Ew. Press the one button to make Chris shake that tree. No, oh, you found the drum. Uh, you don't want to pick up the drum. Oh, I like that where you can pull the drum shit, huh? That's cool. Mm -hmm. Wow, you've got so many snowflakes. You missed the drum, I think. Yeah, the drum is there, you didn't yeah. pick it up, it's gone. Uh, you lost the drum. What? Oh, it's him throwing things. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Presents. Presents. Yeah. Like the enemies, yeah, you have to kill the enemies, I think. I knew it before you. They look, they look, they look like a snowflake. It looks like a, you know, a half-decent platformer for kids, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, just collect a font. Collecting the old snowflakes, collect a font. Tell me to save one. You're chucking all your presents away. You won't be able to get anything to the kids. I don't care. Die, 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 die. Mm -hmm. What does it 
doll. Eh, eh. A golden snowflake. Just let me have, have it. For bonus snowflakes. I want it. Get in and jump. Right, right after I just. Uh, Lots of golden ones left. Please give me more. I think yeah, I like your continue point. I think. Oh no, it's the end of the level. Wow, mm. right. Josh's turn? No. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Um, right, Josh is going to take over controls. Yeah. But no, we're going to have a look at this game. No, I'm not. We're going to have a look at the mini games this time, Josh? Or? Yeah, I think this is a mini game. Um. <laughs> oh, I want to do that. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm doing no. it. No! You, you have to do this! Oh. oh, he told you something for a change. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is Christmas then. What? Do, do what he was doing. Maybe that makes it different. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not having it. The motion shown on screen. I'm doing the motion shown on screen. I only have one more left. Oh, no. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe you have to... Do like not straight gently, on. gently maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like do that, maybe. Yeah, that. maybe just from a straight hand kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. oh, I'm a man now, Tantum. I can take those toys across the mountain. What? Well, I didn't even finish the mini game. It just goes Today, straight to the next like, chapter of the game. Yeah. Wow, bad game. Oh. I didn't even finish the mini game. This is dull. Why can't I? Do it's it? gonna be my turn next. Anyways. I'm not doing this. Quit. Hey! Right. Don't worry, I've got a checkpoint, I think. But you got a checkpoint. Yeah. We'll do the mini game section on the menu. Oh. Mini games? There seems to be quite a few of them on here, actually. Mini games? Yeah. Mm. Oh, Gifted there's only two. two. Oh, right. Uh, I think oh, more unlock. Oh, you you have on. to. Do a story actually, ha! Yeah. Perform the motion oh, bad. Again, on and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cracked at it. <laughs> if I have to tell you something, I will be very mad. <laughs> you have to do this! I am! Oh! <laughs> Same thing as him. 
Right. So you want to do tyre repair. Have you ever seen that one yet, have we? Yes. We do tyre repair and then, uh, yeah, we'll have to... I just want to try it. I just want to try it. Oh, is that a tyre repair what you did? Yeah. yeah. I just want to try it. But that's just the same one. It's going to be boring. But I want to try it. Um, I'm going to stand up for this. Wait, I didn't even do anything. Yeah! I'm amazing at this. I'm amazing. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Hold it straight. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm here. This is high, my. No, it's not. I'm gonna get more than you. With the stupid trains and stuff. It's not giving me the same thing. I hate this one. Please, please, please. <laughs> Do it. I'm run out of time. Do it. <laughs> I like this one. I haven't even got the bounty ball on in a long time. Thirty-six. Uh, thirty-six. He got twenty-three. Now, this video won't be boring anymore because I'm actually going to do another game. Yay! At least I do better than you. It's more entertaining. Point at the screen to hand out. Okay, the let's do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue with story. What do I do? I'm pointing at the screen. Oh, ah, oh, there you go. Point at the screen to hand out presents. I am. Was the hit on the Point at the screen oh, to hand out presents. Oh, yeah. To hand out oh, presents. Oh, you did it, whatever it was. I'm not sure. He's pressing A and B, and then sometimes the presents appear. Yeah. Point at the screen I don't get to it. hand out presents. Yeah, I, don't. I kind of actually get this. Uh -huh. I kind of oh, get yeah, this. Yeah. I do. It's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? Yeah. So to so to get presents, you just have to like hold it like above that Point to make it appear. You like have to hold the present. Okay, now what? I don't know. Yeah, see. Can you figure it now? No. But all of a sudden, isn't working very well. Cause like that one just appeared and there's nowhere near it. Yeah. No, for four seconds long. left, so you yeah. have to be able to do it quicker somehow. Yeah. 37. Hmm. You beat my record on the uh, toilet bed. It's my son. Hey. Oh, wait, let me see if there's like a guide. 
Point at the screen to hand out presents. Oh, I think I get it. Two to continue. You have to, do... you have to just go far. You have to rub it like you're washing your hands. Yeah. And wash your hands. Point at the screen oh, to hand out right, presents. I get it. Yeah. Oh. Like you're rubbing them into existence. Yeah. It's like that you're, um, yeah. now you're getting hand sanitizer. Oh. That's quite a cool action in there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh my god! That's a lot! See, I'm, I'm cracked. No, you're not! You suck! Oh. You suck! You're bad! That's actually kind of fun. My arm's starting to hurt. I was surprised. I'm going to do that all the time, though. Mm. At least I got 40 points. Mm. What do you think of the game with such stuff, boys? Um, um, all right, I guess. <laughs> I give it in a, um, a uh, brutal thing for Josh. I've got, you know, there's, there's just something about Christmas games and they're never actually really brilliant, are they? No. Mm. Half, half decent usually, bit of fun just at Christmas. But you wouldn't want to pick this up all year round, would you? No. no. I would want, I would definitely get Persona 5 Strikers out of any single game. Really? Yeah. Same. Now just, yeah. Because it's going to come out in 2021. Don't forget to buy it. Yeah. And it's not sponsored. And it's not a Christmas game either. Yes. And we're talking Christmas games. Yeah. It's not a um, Persona game. Let's just carry oh. on with the Christmas. That is, uh, yeah, um, an interesting concept. Yeah. Let's see if I could beat his record. Once now. Josh figured out how you do it, it was a bit more fun than we thought. But, yeah. Um, yeah. My arm is really hurt. Yeah. Well, that's all right because that is a good uh, yeah, play on the first Christmas title, guys. All right. We're going to wrap it up as Josh keeps rubbing. Yeah. Um, very odd title, guys. But yeah, I suppose it's a bit of fun at Christmas for the kids. Yeah, especially with the platforming and uh, the other game, the toy repair was quite good, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So there we go, guys. Let's wrap this one up. Story number two, Ollie. Mm. Now this is a good one. This, this this is a lesson to all children. Huh? This is the one that's got a video game connection. Now you see, back in the day, I must have been fairly young still, probably about 13, something like that, yeah? And uh, back then I was naughty, like most kids. All, like, leading up to Christmas... I'd go searching for presents. I'd go all around the house looking to see where my mummy and daddy had hidden the presents. Your nanny and granddad, where they'd hidden the presents in the house. Yeah. And uh, at the time, my cousin, he had a um, Commodore 64 computer. Oh. And I used to love going to his house and uh, playing on that. Yeah, because I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't say who's joining us this time. Yeah. Go on, then. Who's joining us for this one? It's Mr. Snowman. Yeah, he's joining us, isn't he? Yeah, okay. <coughs> so, yeah, anyway, I used to go to his house and play on his one, and I really, really wanted one, and I kept on and on and on to Nanny and Grandad, my mum and dad, about how I wanted a Commodore 64. I wanted a Commodore 64! I did, yeah, and then off I went... Leading up to Christmas, every day, searching the house for my presents. And you know what? I saw, it was already wrapped up, but I found it, because they used to have a bed that opened up, like the end of it, you could open it up like that. That's cool. Yeah, and inside that... was all the presents where they'd hidden them. And uh, I found this one big long box, yeah, and I knew that was a Commodore 64. Must be, must be. So I looked into the 
just, just the end of it so I could just see and it looked like he had the Commodore 64 inside there so there I was on Christmas Day all excited over the moon I knew I'd got a Commodore 64 and there was lots of little presents so they could be cartridges you know cassettes so I was like oh yeah I've got it, got it. and I ripped it open and it was a Casio keyboard that's the end of that story disappointment yeah but I got one the following year so it wasn't all bad yeah right here we go guys with uh, the second Christmas game this is a puzzler on the Nintendo switch um, if you were to buy this physical it would cost you 17.99 over on the Nintendo eShop sale at the moment it's seven so you want to head over there and grab it while you can guys this will be a bit of fun for you and the kids over this seasonal period Right, handing over to the boys for this one again. Who's going first? Me. Right, Josh is going first. Here we go, guys. Oh, the controls are a bit uh, slippery. What? I didn't even do that. I just chose a hint by accident because the controls are very slippery. They're very slippery. Yeah. Um, Looks pretty fun, though. Yeah, if you can get past the bad controls. Well, to be honest, I think this was like originally a mobile game, though. Yeah. Intended for the touch screen. Yeah. Because, uh, you know. To get as many presents as you can. And so you collect presents as you go, yeah. and you've got to walk along the path, have you? Yeah. So you've got to, uh, it's kind of like um, one of those puzzle games, isn't it? Where you, uh, you know, the physical one, where you have to slide the little squares across the picture? Mm. Yeah. That's quite an, an interesting little concept, isn't it, really? Mm. Ah, you can't yeah. move the start or the end ones. Yeah. Oh, that's wicked. Yeah. So if I try and move this, I just want that. Yeah. Or this one. I can't think what they call those puzzles that you can buy. But yeah, they're basically like sliding, sliding uh, things, aren't they? And you have to try and build the picture. But yeah, this is the same theory, but just building the path instead. Yeah. Yeah. But like those puzzle games, they get quite frustrating, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> so like now what? Yeah, now what? And then you've got to get... Yeah. So you not only you've got to think about what path he's going to take, also picking up the presents. I mean, you can't do that until he's got the right path in there, can you? Mm. Yeah. No, sometimes they're called uh, picture slide, aren't they? The uh, actual oh. physical things. You know what I mean? There's lots and lots of uh, games out there, video games as well, that have that. Even either included into an actual main game as a mini game. Yeah. And you can also get lots on uh, mobile phone games and whatever you with picture slide. Yeah, it's an interesting concept to bring to a Christmas title. Yeah. Well, then here's another stone one that you can't move, but it's not the star or the end. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah, I would truly be useless at this because I've always been terrible at those puzzle games, those, mm. yeah, those picture slide games. Easy. Ah, yeah. So it doesn't matter where the, uh, obviously you've got the stone ones, like you said, uh, they've got, they've just got to kind of like 
crow in the right floor for the moment. Yeah. yeah. Certainly very uh, fun looking, that's for sure. Yeah. I've got a proper think about it as well, haven't I? Yeah. Like Josh said, I expect it's more fun playing it in uh, portable. Yeah. You're going to use a touch screen, I, I expect. Probably. We're uh, playing it over the dock, of course. Well, Josh is playing it over the dock. Yeah, that one looks good. Oh no, no. It's a bit of thinking, doesn't it? Hmm. You know who would love this game, don't you? Your mum. Mm -hmm. You would love this game. Because it's one of those picture slide games. I was confused. Because it was too I was like, I couldn't see properly because the, the white outlines against the white tiles. Yeah. It's hard to judge, isn't it? Sometimes you're only using him. Um, yeah. In case anybody thinks I'm mad, I was talking to my missus then, um, because she is actually here, and she would love this game, because it's one of those ones where you really got to think about it. Well, I mean, it's just up her straight. I missed a hey. present. You missed one present? Ah, oh, right, so you just get one less uh, on your score then, I suppose. Yeah. And yeah. you need them to unlock the latest stages. Ah, right, so the more you get, the better then. Yeah. Oh, I missed a Yeah, oh, yeah. You are going ahead though, aren't you? You're still yeah, I'm getting still to the next one. By the way, people, I think Oliver has deserted us, which is probably just as well, because I don't think he'd do very well on this game, do you, Josh? Mm. So we'll let Josh uh, carry on. I think Oliver would just end up uh, getting very frustrated. Mm -hmm. So it might not be one for the younger kids, guys, because, uh, yeah. I think they're just going to get absolutely nothing fed up with it. This is one for uh, teenagers and onwards. Kind of new. Oh yeah, because you've got two of them, haven't you, to fit in there. Mm. Hmm. It looks simpler than what it is. Mm. You can't even spin them or anything, can you? No. no. So you can reset it whenever you want? Or? Yeah. 
What is the gift mode name? I don't know. Can't do it in a minute. I can't get to the button. Ah, right, that's strange, isn't it? Hmm. Wait. Oh, oh a gift mode, no, yeah. There we go. And now, let's see if I can do anything. It just moves my cursor away. The gyro is not very good in this game, but nothing mm -hmm. when I press it. Who would want to play with this? It's so awful. How do you even move the heart like that? Like, if the, if the gyro wasn't so glitchy on this game, then yeah, this would be a much better way to play it on the TV. Mm. But it's so glitchy that it's not very fun. I suppose it's a choice there for people if they want to use it, but like you said, I mean, it's not exactly uh, working well on that. The, the other mod's better, isn't it? Yeah. Um, for working. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Ah, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you don't necessarily have to get all the bits of path in as long as he reaches where he wants to be. Yeah. Ah, right, see, so I thought you had to use them all up. No. Well, you seem to be doing alright with it like that. Yeah. It was just really at the start, mainly. Yeah. Like, it's glitching out. Oh, there it is again. Like, whenever it glitches out, it starts, like, going inverted as well, which is annoying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's... That's odd. Come on, that's not what I want to do. It won't move. Okay. Well, you can also use the left stick to move them, but you can yeah. hold like A and then like do that, like just move the gyro, like yeah. that, and then it will. <laughs> Frustrating, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's um, very, uh, not very good, the gyro, I think. Ah, it just did the thing again. Like, whenever you go too far, it just... I don't understand. Look. Yeah. Why is it doing this? No. It's on one side, then it's on the other. It's very... Oh, it skips over there. I don't know why I have to hold the controller just to have the cursor and be yeah. in the middle. Controller's all the way over to my right. Yeah. Now, what do I even do? I'm turning this off. It's awful, I can't... Yeah. So you're better off, you, in your opinion, you're better off with the, the other mode. Yeah, yeah. Or normal. Normal mode, yeah. yeah. So there you go, guys. I mean, it's telling you this is a really, really fun game. Obviously, for older teenagers and adults, and more so than for small children. But. Like Josh said, uh, GIF mode, hmm, not so good, eh? It doesn't do anything. No, so you might be uh, better off staying away from GIF mode. If you can make it work. Yeah, unless you can make it work, yeah, of course, yeah, which might make it easier. But, there you go, guys, that was the second game. We shall be back in a sec. Would you like to hear the last story, Ollie? Would you? No, thank you. Oh, don't be silly. Of course you do. Yep. You want to hear the last story, don't you? Yep. Who's joining us this time? The decapitated Santa I stole. No, decapitated Santa. Ah! Poor Santa. Ah. But anyway, Ollie. Yes. When I was about 13 again. About that, 12, 13. Um, nanny and granddad, my mummy and daddy, they lost all their businesses and uh, they were absolutely broke. So, leading up to Christmas for about three or four months beforehand, I suppose, they started buying the odd Christmas present here and then. We actually had some fantastic presents at the time. Um, yeah, it was a really, really, really good Christmas for food and presents because they bought so much early on with the little bit of money that they had. 
um, which would, would would have been very, very minimal after just losing all your businesses and going bankrupt. Um, but the one thing that they didn't have enough money for, and what do you always need at Christmas? Uh, what What is the first thing you should do? Is get a... Uh, uh, a Christmas tree? A Christmas tree, yeah. 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 Well, they didn't have any money left to get a Christmas tree. So... At the time, we lived in Yorkshire, in the countryside, in the middle of nowhere. There was hardly anything near us, only this tiny, tiny little village. Um, and it was surrounded by forests and things like that. And mm, that would be a perfect place <laughs> yeah. to get a Christmas tree. And funny enough, there was a Christmas tree farm. So I remember it had been snowing really, really heavy. There was snow everywhere. And uh, the only way you could really go anywhere is if you were lucky and you had a Land Rover, which we did. A special type of car that can drive in just about any um. terrain. So <laughs> Grandad said to me one night, come on, me and you are going to go and get ourselves a Christmas tree. And I was like, oh, I didn't think we had any money for a Christmas tree. Well, Grandad, and you must never do this, guys, by the way. Let this be a caution to you. Well, it isn't really a caution because it went really well. But <laughs> we drove at about 10 o'clock at night to the Christmas tree farm. And Grandad chopped the Christmas tree down and magically made it appear in the back of the Land Rover. But, um, but how did he get in there? Well, he climbed over the fence with oh. a saw and then he sawed it down. <laughs> Oh, no, naughty. Well, I think it was an axe, actually, he used. A bit naughty, and it's Stealing a Christmas tree. You should never steal anything. Or else you might go to jail or you get You might, warning. yeah. Your granddad could have gone to jail, couldn't he? Mm. Yeah. But he wanted to make my Christmas and Auntie Ayla's Christmas as good as it could. And that's what he did. He went and stole a Christmas tree with me. He brought me along for the ride, naughty granddad. But... He then realised that we didn't have a bucket or sand or soil or anything to stand it up in. What did he do? Well, a little bit further down the road, there was a building site. Oh no. Where they were building houses. Oh no. And standing in there were a load of buckets oh, and sandbags. No. Yeah. Oh, so gosh. what did Grandad do, do you think? I think he stole the sand and the soil. Yeah, well, the bucket. The yeah. bucket and the sand. Yeah. And i tell you what. It was the best damn Christmas tree we've ever had. It was wonderful. Yeah. Don't ever do it. It was, it was very naughty, but I can understand why he did it. Uh, yeah, but still, theft is theft, guys, and it's not a good idea. And if my dad was still here today, I'd tell him off. Because now I'm older and I'm wiser and I realise. But I do understand oh, no. why he did it. Trying to make mine and my sister's Christmas as perfect as possible. Yeah. Do you like that story? It's um, a moral to that one. A bit. Mm. Don't go stealing. Although it never came back to bite him in the bum. <laughs> because he didn't get into trouble for it or anything. Yeah. Because he never got caught. If you are a police officer right then, yep. you would bite him in oh, the bum. Oh, yes. So there you go, guys. That's another story. Mm. Here we go, guys, with the third Christmas game for the PlayStation 1. You can see it's a Telegames one. And it's just me this time, guys. Just me. Yeah, Santa Claus saves the earth. There's your menu, new game, load game, and options. Let's see, we're going to do new game. Now this is a platformer, guys. And quite a challenging.
quite a big story there really well bigish <laughs> here we go guys level one press x to continue As you can see guys, it's your basic platformer, you can jump, but you can also glide, and you can shoot as well, just like that. As I said, it's a bit more challenging than you think. You've got these ladders here, you've got to walk up and down and whatever, and grab all of them. You can also jump across the course, but we're going to go down at the moment, Wait, see what I mean? Enemies are pretty thick. Let's go this way first. Obviously you get your uh, boxes there when you need them, you can pick them up. Aha, I got him. You can also uh, hit the boxes guys to open them up. You get a little bits and bobs. Go, we got that box that time because uh, yeah, I lost a bit of life, didn't I? Can we get that one? No. There comes another one. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, watch that you don't jump. Oh, he got me already. Look. I'll try and uh, get that box. No, it won't let me have it. Oh well. Oh, I'm back in there again. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, now he's got me. Ah, yes, son of a... Mm. See if we can get that. No. Seem to have run out of bullets as well, which is not good. No, we've run out of bullets. And you can't jump on them or anything. What? No, it doesn't do any good at all. Hey, I still got there. Haha, <laughs> he's landed down there, son of a gun. Oh, here we go. Now we've got bullets back again, which is... Aha, uh -huh. well no. Oh, I thought we were up on the rope. We're not. Oh, I thought we could uh, do that then. Now oh, we can get back up again, that's okay. Cool. There's these blocks you can go on to sometimes. Yeah. Jump onto that quickly and then over. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, guys, it's actually quite a competent little platformer, it really is. Now, oh, here we go. Look, we can get on that. Get back up, wicked. There we go, we're all right now. Oh, here he comes, look. Oh, you're turning blue. Ah. Blue Santa, who would have thought it? Oh, 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 you yeah, bugger. At least we got him. Any of these tasty treats here? Come on, you. Oh, what's going on here? Can't go any further. Ah, right, okay, it won't let me go anywhere. No, it will. Ah, when you're blue, you can't. Right, okay. That's a bit odd. No. I can't jump across there. Ooh, let's get back on that. Aha, we're going down again. I just want to try and jump the other way, guys. But we can't, we can't jump the other way. Oh well. I'll go back over here then. Ah, so I wouldn't want to go over there anyway, it's covered in spikes. Okay, so we'll go back up here. What have we got here then? We've got another platform there. Come on, how am I going to get across if there's no platform? Hmm. There isn't one, no, it's all spikes. Oh, there's one there, look. Oh, dear me. Let's see where we start back. Oh, well, right back at the beginning. No. Oh. We'll continue, see, yeah, I think we're going to go right back to the beginning, guys. Oh dear. Yeah, we're loading up again, yeah, right back at the beginning. Oh well. Can't be old, can it? Moving. Right, can we get over there? No, we can't. Ooh, I thought we could jump there. 
why couldn't I jump over? That's not very fair, is it? It's not. Let's try again. Yeah, why won't that jump? Ah, well, okay, because you can't jump from there then. You can't jump off a ladder, guys. You can do that. Yay, wicked. Who's that going to take us anyway? No? No, it doesn't want to take us anywhere. Okay, then we'll go on here then instead. Oh, that doesn't do anything either. Ah, ah okay. Hmm, that's not very good, is it? Would have thought it would do something, wouldn't you? No, can't do anything with it. No, can't even. No. No, can't get them to move, guys. Oh well. It looks like. We're just stuck here, guys. Look, because here you fall back into there, don't you? I'm going to end up right back at the beginning again, aren't I? Because I'm going to die. Yeah, there you go, died again. At least now we know you cannot get across there. And this is a way of setting them off, of course. And there might be a way of uh, getting those platforms to move. We'll give it another try and see if there's anywhere else we can go. It's just this loading screen every time, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, I'm quite enjoying it, I have to say. It's quite challenging. Not what you really expect from a Christmas title, for it to be quite as challenging as it is. It's a competent little platformer. Got an interesting style. Art style. Has to be said. Hey, you got him. Right. Now, what about if we go the other way? Right, so we went down that way last time. We'll go over here this time. Let's have a look. Hey. Yeah. Oh, a lot of them here again, look. Oh, there's a block there again, so when we want it, it's there. Oh, you sod, go away. They take a bit more killing than those do, don't they? Right, there's a key there, look at a lock. I don't suppose for one minute we've got the key. Let's see if we can get both of those open. Is there a key in there? No, no key in there, oh dear. Can we walk past it? No, we can't. Oh dear. Can't blast our way through. No, there's no trick here to get down there or anything. No. That's obviously once you get past the door then. So yeah, we need to find a key, guys. That is the purpose, obviously. Um, but yeah. I don't know if we'll get that far, but... Let's go back up. I'm obviously missing something somewhere, aren't I? Oh, I fell back down again. Oh dear. Oh, you yeah, bugger. Come on. That's it. Go back up. So how am I supposed to get across there? Right. Oh, okay. Just like that. Then, yeah. So we'll go down this way this time. Doesn't make any kind of difference. No, I can't get it. Right, okay. Let's go here again. Hmm. Oh, we got that. Good. Got him. No, no, no key in those two. I just need that key. Whatever the hell it might be. I like the way you can float. It's uh, quite cool, right? It does get you out of uh, pickle. Oh, this bloody thing is going to kill me in the end, isn't it? Oh, right, okay, uh, I need the first aid box. Ah, bugger off you. Ah, we've run out of bloody bullets again. Right? Have to run. No, he got me. Oh. But you tell you what, guys, that, I mean, that was a good enough look at it anyway. Um, as I said, it's a pretty competent enough uh, platformer, guys. And with a Christmas theme to it, although <laughs> pretty loose Christmas theme to it, I have to say. Um, yeah, I mean, it's another one to play over the holiday season, isn't it? Um, yeah, on the uh, fantastic PlayStation 1, guys. So, you mean you could do a lot worse for a Christmas game? Right, back in a sec. Right, Oliver, it's the last Christmas story as you pull in my bauble. 
Anyway. He's going one to join your, us now. One of your older brothers. You know how every year there is a toy that's really hot. Everybody wants it. Yeah. This year, for instance, it's a PS5, isn't it? Yeah, I It's know. not a toy, but it's really hot and everybody wants it, don't they? Hot? Yeah, yeah what? everybody wants it because it's so fantastic, yeah? Yeah. Well, one year, um, when um, Callum was young, I do believe it was Callum, um, everybody wanted the Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> what? Everybody desperately wanted a Buzz Lightyear. And I think Why? it was when it was either when Callum or Lewis was little. Yeah. Now everybody wanted a Buzz Lightyear, and I went to every shop in the existence of our area. <laughs> everywhere I went to every shop, could not get one anywhere. Then I went to Toys R Us. Where I work now, actually, Home Bargains used to be Toys R Us and it shut down and Home Bargains took over. But way back then, it was still Toys R Us. Yeah, and, and then uh, yes, Toys R Us, rip Toys R Us. Yeah. And make I, it come back. Yeah, make it come back. I could see all these people queued up and I was thinking, oh my word, they're all there for Buzz Lightyear's, you know. And uh, I stood there and I thought, you know, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to stand it out. I'm going to wait and wait. I mean, I sat in the car for a little while, but then I realised more and more people were turning up, so I had to get in the queue quick. And a lot of people gave up. And in the end, I must have been there about four hours, yeah, waiting to try and get this buzz light. Yeah. These are and people that are joining. No, oh, right, they are all joining this yeah. time. Yeah. So we got yeah, Freddie, Trevor, the Snowman, and Santa's floaty decapitated head um back to the yeah, video back to the story yeah but while i was in the queue i saw some interesting things like a man who came out with a buzz light yeah and another man attacked him and beat him up and stole his buzz light yeah that's how much people wanted and Buzz Lightyear for their kids. It's like Black Friday in America. It is. It is like Black Friday, yeah. Uh, the police were called, of course, and I'm standing there watching this all unfold. And, uh, yeah, it was quite incredible. Um, and people uh, swearing at each other, pushing each other, getting really, really humpy with each other when they saw them coming out with a Buzz Lightyear. Nobody beat anybody else up, but that, that did, yeah, that one only lost his temper that much that I don't, he beat the one I, guy up. I, I don't think you want to get mm. the PS5 anymore. No, maybe not. Most people are going to fight over it, yeah. but they're not, are they? No. Yeah. So anyway, I waited and waited and waited, and then I heard about two or three people ahead of me. We haven't got any left now. And I was like, oh, no, I've waited all this time. I've been here for hours. And they went off, and I was about to just turn around and go home when a girl... From Toys R Us, their staff came out and she said, Oh, oh, no, we just found one more. Oh, look, he was I. I bought it and I took it home. And whoever it was, whether it was Callum or, or Lewis, they had a Buzz Lightyear for their, bir for their birthday, for Christmas. <laughs> yep, they had one for Christmas, guys. So that is another tale of caution. Patience is virtue, even when... Things are extremely popular, guys. And that is the last story. What did you think of that one? Very harsh. Do you think Buzz, Buzz Light is worth all that? No. No, he was then. Everybody wanted him. He was hot property. Everybody wanted him. Why? Is, why would people just like say the F word to other people? And beat each other just, off. Just for a toy. I know. Just for something that is... Yeah. The, and oh, do you know no. what the saddest thing is? That's not the first time that happened either. In the past, people did it over Cabbage Patch Kids. And, oh, loads of other toys. They fought over them because they were the hottest thing to buy at Christmas. That's stupid. Mm. At least it's more peaceful now, except yep. for in America. Yeah. So what did you think of that story as well, guys? As I say, comment below, guys. What do you thought of any of these stories? And what do you really, really want for Christmas? And what is the hot property? Um, this I... year, I think it's the PS5. I don't think there's a toy as such that's the hot property. I think it's the PS5. I the want, I want the 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 pen thing that so when I can get better at this game that I like. Oh, you want a pen thing that makes you better at a game? Yes. Well, the mystery of that one shall stay until their Christmas Day. Then whether you get it or not, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
And there you go, guys. We've got one more play on for you, and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. And he probably won't be because he's getting a bit crazy and knocking the tripod over nearly. Right? Say Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, you lot. And thank you so much for being with us and subbing. And I can't, I can't even begin to tell you guys how much I appreciate that. And if you're a mean person, don't be a mean person. Don't be a mean person. You heard it. Yeah, you heard it from the big boy. Especially at Christmas. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, guys. Yeah. I'll be back soon. Go guys with your little Christmas extra, your little Christmas present. The reason it is, is we covered this before last Christmas guys, but I thought I'd add it in here as a little extra for you guys. A kind of Christmas present. Yeah, it's days before Christmas guys, that Australian wonder. Let's listen to that music a minute. Kick in with a demo. Strange how it was uh, in a, released in Australia. It's it's quite odd. I mean, once again, guys, it's a pretty competent platformer. Shall we start this thing? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Right, here's your options and what have you. So, one player, options, two player. Of course, it's just me again. I have a very weird looking, uh, that Santa just woke up grumpy, realising it's Christmas Day and he's, well, Christmas Eve, and he's got to deliver all the blood sodding presents all over the world, maybe. Here we go. I'll let you read that. Pause is your best friend if you need longer. Right, so here we go, we start there. You can see there's all the levels, I presume. Santa's hallway. Mm. Yeah, as I say, guys, covered this last year, so you might be very familiar with it already. You might be very familiar with it anyway. I can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're hiding your hat, you look. <laughs> that's cracking. There we go, there's, that's how you uh, free your uh, little elves. They're inside the parcels. The presents, even. Here goes another one. Oh no, that's a Santa hat. A magic Santa hat. Wow. Oh, more down there. Look, let's get back down. Can we go past that? No, oh, what's going on here? Come on, Santa, we need to get past that. No, I'm not going to let me. Okay, then, fine. Ooh, look at that, that's wicked. <laughs> they can get up there like that, look. Wicked. Like I said, it's a very fun platformer, guys. This is actually a pretty damn stellar Christmas title. It really is. Or a belt. Mm. I can't remember how you get down to the other parts, though, guys. I really can't. Huh. Oh, well, never mind. Well, hey, look at that. Hey, up we go. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, is that one of my little elves? Not so like it. Like right, somebody anyway. Somebody we just freed. We're just back over here again, yeah. Looks like it. Ooh. Oh yes, there we go as he changes, yeah. Into like super bloody Santa. Oh look at that, wow. Flipping egg. What the hell am I supposed to do there, then? I don't know. How am I supposed to kill him, then? Oh, then thing. Get off me. Can I not kill him? I don't like it, does it? No, he's just going to keep whacking me back. Oh, okay, then. Can we jump over him? No, he's just going to stop me. Okay, then. That's fine. Oh! Oh, I thought we were freeing him. I can kill him. Ah, right, okay. You wouldn't think I'd just covered this last year, would you, last Christmas? Mm, can't go in the doors, and that. 
Oh, let's just keep going here. Oh, yeah. He did get me, I just realised. Well, hey, we've got a star. Oh, level complete. There we go. Well, that was particularly weird. So it's like an advent calendar, this guy's, I guess. Yeah. Okay, then. Let's play the next one. Let it snow. Oh, got to kill the penguins, poor things. Oh, we kill him? Oh no, he's one of ours. Yeah. Oh, bloody snowmen. They attack you as well. Hey, what happened there? Whoa, Jesus is jack in the box. Oh, a bomb. Ah, bugger. <laughs> oh, it's really fun, guys. It has to be said, this is a stellar little platformer. It really is. Oh, level completed already? That was a bit quick, wasn't it? Oh well. What have we got next? Ice Cave. Right, we'll play this one, guys, and then we'll wrap this Christmas special up, guys. Oh. You're going to come further up? No. Okay. Can we shoot up? No, we can't shoot up. That's just great, isn't it? Eh? Those bloody penguins, eh? Oh. oh, what the heck. Oh, you little sod. At least we've got our hammer now. Can we get on those? No, we can't get on those. And I'm just going about to die. Oh, yes, we can get on them. Just for a limited period, and then they vanish, of course. Can't seem to uh, open the presents when you're a uh, super Santa, which is a bit annoying. Hmm. That's not very good. Oh, we're back to normal Santa now. Okay. Oh, a bomb. Hey. What do we get in this one then? Bell? Yeah. Ah, landed on the bloody spikes again. Right, so where are we supposed to go here then? Da no! Get off me, spiky! Oh dear me, eh? Not doing very well here, guys. Oh, there's another present. Oh, look at these sods. Oh. Fuckers. Yeah, this, this, this is blinking fun. Come on, it's got to be said. This is really, really fun, guys. Wow. It's got some fantastic platforming to it. What a shame it wasn't released worldwide. I would have loved to have played this at the time of Christmas. Wow. What a stellar little title. Oh, apart from when you fall down there. That's not so stellar. Wicked. Oh, I'm dead. That's a good place to wrap it up, guys. I mean, what an awesome little title. Wow. Right. I'll be back in a mo. Right, guys. Here we go with the next one. Now... It had to be an absolutely dog crap game, didn't it? Yeah, and, and that's what some people consider this to be. It's Elf Bowling, guys. One and two on this one for the Game Boy Advance, guys. But shall we see how it actually does play? Here we go, guys. As you can see, you've got Elf Bowling and then you've got Elves Paradise. Oh my god, they got fongs on. Seriously. Right, well, we'll st <laughs> Oh dear god, look at them. Uh, yeah, we'll, st we'll start with Elf Bowling, guys, shall we? Dear god, what have I got myself into? Here we go, guys. It's basically Bowling with Elves. Uh, I think you're supposed to... Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, hey! Did quite well there, didn't I? You can so tell, guys, that they started life off as Flash Game. You really can. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's what it is, isn't it, eh? It's Father Christmas bowling elves over. Oh, bummer. <laughs> oh dear. Right, here we go again. 
Right, come on then. It's literally pot luck, guys, isn't it? That you hit it right in the middle where you need to be or whatever. Yeah, it did quite well there. But yeah, it, it, it's pretty linear, isn't it? I mean, there's not a lot to it, is there? You can see why some people bloody hate it, can't you? Know? Oh, how did I miss that? Don't you laugh at me, you little hairy git. Right. Oh, let's see if we can get them all in one, eh? Yay, got them all. Well, hey, look at Santa having a flit out of there. Blimey. It's all right for a flipping little play if you're waiting in a waiting room or something or, you know, sitting on a bus or train or whatever. But yeah, I wouldn't exactly call this a stellar title, shall we say. <laughs> I seem to be doing better than I thought I would, that's for sure. But yeah, this is not exactly awesome, is it, by a long shot? I wouldn't exactly slag it off as much as other people have. I wouldn't say it was a pile of steamy dog crap, but it's, uh, yeah. It's what it is, guys. It was a Flash game originally. People actually thought at one point that it was a virus because it was being sent in emails and things, so that just shows you what kind of game this is. Oh, too far over again. Yeah, see, that doesn't work very well either where you're uh, trying to get the ones that are left over on the sides and what have you. But, um, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, by a long shot. Oh, it's, it's just, yeah, it's just boring. Very, very boring. Because um, you're just doing the same old crap over and over again. But then what would you do in a, in a bowling game, to be honest? I mean, I absolutely uh, love bowling games. Um, I think that's pretty much what you're doing, really, isn't it? But there's usually a little bit more to them. Um, that you can get the... Uh, yeah, so you just can't seem to get the ones left on the side, which in a, in a decent bowling game you would be able to achieve, of course. Not in this one. Oh, look at the bloody reindeer there. <laughs> oh. See, how do you get them on the side? Oh, I don't know. Odd. Very odd. Uh, let's see. So, right, you got them left, okay. So, do I get them like that? Yes, I got them, okay. I'm kind of getting it there, yeah, kind of. But I think it's time to take a look. Oh, shall we carry on? Oh, go on then, carry on. I mean, it's that was exciting as a, you know, as an ex unexciting thing. Really. Yeah, I think it's time to probably move on to, uh, yeah, Elf Bowling Paradise, isn't it, eh? Right, let's have a look if we can get out of here, can we? Uh, no, back in a sec, guys. I might have to turn it off and back on. Yeah, back in again, guys. And here we go. We'll go down to <laughs> uh, Elf Bowling Paradise or whatever the hell it is. That, that, that's quite funny. It has to be said that it is quite funny. Little elves or Santa or whatever the hell else yeah, elves in their little thongs dancing. Okay, moving on. Oh, it's just elves in paradise. Elf bowling too. Well, obviously, yeah, it's just one player, so it's just me, but you have got the choice of two. Let's see what it looks like um, in paradise, guys. It looks like a Christmas theme with elf bowling, but on a tropical island. I mean, that is odd in itself, isn't it? That makes it even less Christmassy. But never mind. Here we go. Okay, this is weird. Round one. Okay. There's a bit more to this one by the looks of it. Okay, let's uh, go. For oh, my word. He's got his bare butt out. Oh, dear. Oh, right. Okay, this is different. Hmm. Don't quite get that, but there you go. Huh, interesting. 
So what the heck? Ah, right, okay. Hmm. This is very odd. Oh, hey! Oh, well, we've got them. Right, so you can obviously move him. Right. Yeah, th th this is peculiar. But kind of fun. Can you get him? No, you can I couldn't move him. What was going on there? Yeah, whatever. Let's try again. This is so weird, it's actually kind of fun. It really is. But it is very, very strange. Oh, okay. I don't know how you make him uh, move over, guys. I really don't. So, do you adjust yourself? I don't know. There seems to be no rhyme, no reason to it. and I, I really don't get that. You can't seem to adjust. Uh, no, I can't adjust Santa. No, can I adjust him like that? No. And he just starts. Ah, right, here we go. Right, okay. But you can't see anything ahead of you to know where exactly you're going. And the way you go. The longer you hold it, the further he goes, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. The longer you hold the action button, the further he goes. Um... Oh, he just did it himself. Bugger. Yeah, this, this is peculiar. What a bloody weird game. Drive, you got an obsession with uh, half naked elves. That float you bought, you'd be well at home here, wouldn't you? Ah, uh, way too far over. Oh, the shark's got me. <laughs> <laughs> the bloody sharks got him. Did you see that? That was cracking. Right, okay, 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 okay. Uh, just go for the middle. I don't know if it makes any kind of bloody... Oh, I took my finger off the button, so that probably didn't help. Okay, let's try again. Can I move him again? No, uh, okay. Oh, I'm keeping him on this time. Yeah. I think we hit him, I'm not too sure. Oh, this did. This is just stupid. <laughs> stupid, but in a kind of fun way, just to see the images, not to play the game. The game's piss awful. It's absolutely awful. And I wouldn't wish this on anybody at Christmas. But the weirdness of it makes it kind of fun to play. I suppose. But oh, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm very torn here, guys. With. The fun of what you're seeing, but as a game, no, this, this, this is not good. It's actually worse than the first one. At least the first one was a kind of basic balling. This is just plain doesn't make any sense. But the imagery, that's, that's worth playing, guys, the imagery. I mean, you can't see them up ahead to uh, adjust yourself. That's what's puzzling me. I mean, look, there I am. You cannot see it. Oh, he's doing hula hooping now. Oh, my word. Um, but you can't see where they are. Um, so I don't really get that. Uh, yeah, where, where am I aiming? There is nowhere. What's going on here? Yeah, I just know that they were coming up there somewhere, weren't they? I didn't even reach them anyway. Look at that. Oh, this, this is odd. Very, very odd. Oh, shut up. Look at him. Hmm. Come on, Santa, where are you in your blue? How can you even pretend to be Santa when you're wearing blue? Yeah, oh, got eaten by the shark again, guys. This is flipping weird. I think we've seen all we want to this one, haven't we? Let's do one more. Um, yeah, one more. Oh, th th this is just peculiar. Right. As I know, I can't go back to the menu, so we'll just, uh, yeah. See ya soon, I guess. I'm just going to go and scratch my head. This is weird. There you go, guys. A bit of a different video of my Christmas special. Looking back 
uh, four memories that really, really stayed with me, guys. Obviously, telling Oliver for the very first time, guys, he'd never heard those stories before. It just shows you the madness sometimes of Christmas with the Buzz Lightyear story. How being a very naughty granddad dad can get you a Christmas tree one year when you're completely broke and you don't know how else you're going to do it. I know, I know, it was very naughty, but it was 1983, guys. And, uh, yeah, I think he was just trying to make our Christmas a little bit better with all the bloody misery going on. And uh, he only took a smallish one, a smallish tree that probably wouldn't have been worth anything anyway. And it was lovely. It was the loveliest Christmas tree that I can remember because of the situation, guys. Yes, we nicked a bit of sand and a bloody bucket, but I can tell you one thing now. He took that bucket back. Yes, he did. He didn't take the sand back because it was quite dirty, full of pine needles, but he did take the bucket back. And, um, yeah, so you'll have to forgive him for that, guys. I mean, he's no longer with us anyway. And I'm looking up there at him saying, uh, Dad, you know what? Good on you. <laughs> um, but, yes, guys, uh, it was a fantastic yeah, you know, even though it was naughty, it was fantastic going out with my dad in the Land Rover, going through all that bloody snow, guys. I mean, at one point it had snowed so much that year that you tried to get the door open and it was past the door, guys. You had to dig a tunnel through to get out. It was incredible. I've never experienced anything quite like it outside of Germany. Um, so, yeah, what a fantastic year. I remember it so well because we still had a very, very nice Christmas, even though... The worst things that could have possibly happened to us happened to us at that time. That we lost our home, we ended up in a council house, which was fine once it was done up. And we ended up with a, thinking we weren't going to have a Christmas at all. Um, but we did. They made sure of it. As parents always do, don't they? As we all do as parents. We make sure our kids are going to get a bloody good Christmas. And then guys, obviously the other story is a cautionary tale again. Don't go snooping for your presents because you might be sorely disappointed. I mean, I did it every year as a kid. It used to be part of Christmas for me to go off hunting the presents out in my uh, my house. And uh, usually they ended up being in roughly the same places. Inside their bed, which they had for donkey's years, this bed. It was fantastic. The whole end of it lifted up and you could hide stuff in there. But then they did get a bit wise to it and they started hiding it in other places. But that just teaches you, don't go looking because you might just spark up the wrong tree, which is exactly what I did when I ended up with a Casio keyboard instead. I mean, I loved it in the end, and I did get my Commodore 64 the following year. But, let that be a caution. Don't go snooping for your presents, he says, whacking himself in the face with a bauble. Bauble? You know what I mean. Yeah, pom-pom. Yeah. So, yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed that Christmas special. Anyway, I really, really do hope that you have the most wonderful Christmas, guys. I know with all this oh, rubbish going on, I mean, in our area, we're back into Tier 4. Um, it, it, it really isn't what we all want, is it? But, of course, we've all got to make the best of it. And, um, you know, not seeing family is a hard, hard thing, guys. But keep your chins up, guys, because we are going to get through this. We really are. If we stick to the rules, do as they say... We should be homeward bound soon enough, guys, and be clear of all this. Um, and yeah, as I said, guys, I hope you still have a fantastic Christmas and all of us coming through the ceiling again and that you have a lovely, lovely New Year, guys. And uh, yeah, with that, what else can I say, guys? But Merry Christmas. You know how much I love you all. Thank you for being with me all this time, guys. Uh, you fantastic fantastic subs out there oh i can't thank you enough and with that i'm going to say the usuals guys if you're not subscribed already please drop me a sub give me a thumbs up tap the bell icon and the all icon to get your notifications and as i said guys with that i'm going to see our videos in cheers and goodbye guys merry christmas stay safe